What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and uh, today got another demo to go through. That's right, NCAA football 2014. Uh, we've got Denard Robinson on the cover this year, newest member of the Jacksonville Jaguars, but part of the University of Michigan here. And uh, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to buy this yet. Um, you know... I don't play sports games nearly as much as I used to, um, but I do love them. And uh, I don't know. I always do well with uh, the college football videos, though, so maybe I will. It's in store June 9th, as you can see. See what we got to work with here. Excellent, I guess. Sights and sound, share the demo. What do I get? Usually you get something for uh, sharing the demo. I'm gonna go ahead and share it with, uh, share it with Chrome. And I get a pack for my ultimate team. I guess they're bringing this to uh, Dynasty Ultimate. College Legends, interesting. I guess it makes sense that they're gonna go with the, uh, the Legends route instead of, uh, you know, actual you know, wide receiver number 11 and stuff like that. All right, whatever. Let's just play now. Um, we'll do Oregon versus Texas A&M. I'll be Oregon since I've actually been there before. Oh, wait, hold on. You can change uniforms. And we know Oregon has like 50 of them. Every single one of them uglier than the last. I do not like their helmets. Wow, nine alternate uniforms, 10. 11 alternate uniforms. 12 alternate, 13 alternate uniforms, 14 alternate uniforms. We get it, Nike. We get it. All right. I like that helmet. I do not like that helmet. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with this. Alright, that's ideal to me. Alright, I haven't played in a while, so I hope I'm not completely terrible. I know you guys will be the first ones to tell me if I am. Really just showing off the gameplay, how it looks, all that good stuff. Not trying to show that I'm a pro or anything. Johnny Heisman. Overly impressed so far. 
We're about 100 miles away from Houston in College Station, Texas, and we're getting ready to bring you a good one. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 23-yard line. All right, I'm just going to ask the coach. He says to run the what? Um... So here screen. comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 46. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second. I didn't even look at the play. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Here we go. Here we go. Three. Three from five. Three from five. One. Good. Once in a I didn't like that. Deep. Yeah, I deserved it. Almost picked off. This that was just a bad play. You, that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From their own 46-yard line, it's third down. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence. Just run the ball, run the ball every play successfully. Run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. What is that? Let's try it. We're going to do this X screen. And four to go. Ball on the 37. Well, that failed. A one-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Yeah, I held it too long. Here's an opening. He gets to about the 27-yard line. I should run it every time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. From the 22-yard line, second down. First down, Graham. He's taken down at the 15. I feel like he just got DDT with that catch. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tackle around the 18 Why did... line. That is a loss of three yards. I don't know why. I, I don't want to read. I want to hand it off. From the 18-yard line, second down. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. I always screw up with the option. I always end up... Uh, Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Forgetting which button you have to press to hand it off. Mike! 
inside the 10. And they make the stop. Around the five-yard line. Uh, I thought I jumped and got it. That'll bring up third and inches. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And they got all the big boys in there for this one. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Ducks. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. Whoa. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Uh, not very responsive on the analog stick. Four-yard drive, and they put up seven points. But it went through, so whatever. Maddox has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one. Wow. Not very responsive at all. Ryan feels it at the 11. Oh, sh at the 35 yard. That was a fail. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And brought down. The offensive line has to at least slow the Travis Deloach. Huh? He was in there in no time. Travis Deloach. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He's uh, right around the 32 yard line. Wow. And made a nice catch. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. And he's tackled at the 41 yard line. I mean, I'm putting everybody into coverage. Only rushing four. Tackled after decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. All right, let's rush more. That was a gift. Receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. He scrambled. Wow. Really? I just don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. The Ducks taking their first time out of the half. I don't know what difficulty this is on, Williamson but got a chance I'll take to it. Angle it away from the punt returner here. I wanted to return it. All right. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. All right, let's do something exciting. Let's, uh... There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oregon is up by a touchdown. He's pushed out of bounds. That's the 41. Call the game 21 yards. First down. What a weird angle. All right, we are going to go deep. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Throwing it to Keys or Cooley. Black, 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 black. 
Going long. Oh. And down he goes around the 22-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Whoa. What was that? That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the eight-yard line. I'm not calling a timeout. I have plenty of time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to run it in spite of you. I didn't call a timeout. I missed my hole. Should have cut to the right a little bit sooner. From the three yard line. Second down. Let the clock wind down a little bit. A two yard run by the hand. He's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Plenty of time. Is up a score. Quick strike and he drops it. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt. And nah, we're, we're going for it. We're going for it. Ain't no way. No way. We're not going for it. I mean, who kicks on fourth down? Nobody. And that's his second touchdown of the day. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And you know what? We're going for two. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Because why? Why not? They got it. They line up to kick this one away. Let's see if I can try not to whiff this time. And he'll return this one from the seven. I didn't even get to him. Maybe to the 26 yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt. So let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They get nice yardage on that run. We played a half of football here. Oregon's up by 15. All right, Reese. All right, time to switch it up. We are going to. Can I switch sides? All right, time to play as Texas A&M. Okay. David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. I <laughs> did myself a favor. And this one's a short kick. I know. I cheated. Anderson takes it to 28. He's at midfield. Wow, I really cheated. At the 31. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at the 23. We're just going to run with Johnny football every time. Um, all right, well, I accidentally just button mashed. But it don't matter. He's he's running. Rolls right. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 15-yard line.
They bring him down. I don't know. It, you know what? I didn't want to go up the middle. It made me run him up the middle. That makes it second and ten. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. That was dumb. And it's tipped away. Since the intended receiver on the play. I was looking at him the whole way, though, so I really didn't have much time to pick a different receiver. Rolling out to the left side. Wow, that's really... sometimes There's no reason I shouldn't have been able to get away from him. Uh, but they really don't make the quarterbacks very agile, and obviously this guy's supposed to be. Like, nah, I don't think so. I should be able to shake him. I'm going for it, though. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. It was a textbook post route, and the pass was right on target. So the offense We're is going, going for, for two. two. Watch the run, watch the run. Because why not? And they won't get the two. What? A six play. How is that not run. in? And they'll come away with six points. No, nah, show me that replay. Point conversion. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing Texas up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels. Wow. Most of the drive because of the I, I don't understand drive. how, Short kick. like, I, I've done this a million times. Lee. Fields at the 29. He's taken down. And every time I try to hit up to kick the football, it doesn't register. And I had the same problem with, I think, Madden. It was either Madden or this last year. It just doesn't register. And he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They come out in a five-wide set. Got a man, watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at about the 11. That's good. Picked wrong. First down. Love it when my own guys get in my way. He's into the open field. Guess Touchdown. strong there too. And they're looking to get two points here. Five wide. He's scrambling. They don't get it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Maddox has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down. To the yeah, I run that out. Back. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation. To ah, that was dumb. Defense. Right now, it's really paying off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception. It sure was. To be dropped. 
second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at about the 49. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big-time game. Not the way I wanted to go. And this is still anyone's ball game. So the controllers are just as wonky as they always are. Oregon. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I mean, it's a good idea to have everybody go the same direction, right? Less than three minutes in the game. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. That was luck. The 34-yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That's good enough for another Texas A&M first down. Supposed to be fast. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Can you even out run off a defensive lineman? Let's go! The throw caught touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Really? And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. Of course, they came out of nowhere. I would expect the onside kick here, but it looks like they're going to kick it deep. Wow. Like, it's almost like they make it intentional that you can't get a perfect kick. Fielded at the nine. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just over two minutes in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it to the 35-yard line. No way! No way! So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. I mean, that little guy can just manhandle with one arm a defensive lineman. I believe it. From their own 42-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So the Aggies will use their first time out of the half. That'll make a second and seven. Really? He's at the 40, and they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Awesome. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Tackle 
Flacco at the 34. This one's in the books, and our final score, 21-12. Well, at least I tried both teams. The Aggies, 12. I mean, this guy is obviously pretty good. Of NCAA Football 14 for Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports. Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time. All right, so that's Oregon versus Texas A&M. NCAA Football 2014. It's in storage July 9th. Um... I mean, I don't know. You're basically paying for your roster update. Um, I don't think it looks any different than last year. Um, but, hey, you do get 15 different uniforms for Oregon. Um, I mean, obviously, they they made some of the uh, the menu things, you know, the, the user interface and the menu look a little bit different. Um I don't really know if that's the uh, the update we were really looking for. I mean, you know, it's sharp, but uh, you know, really, who cares? So, I'm pretty positive. So there we go. Um, NCAA football 2014. Uh, chances are, if you're a college football fan, you're just gonna get it. That's all there is to it. Uh, if you're a Michigan fan, you might get it just because Denard Robinson's on the cover. And uh, it's okay. I, I might red box it, play it for a couple days. Um, but I, I don't foresee me buying this brand new. I just don't. Um, I won't play it long enough. I, I just have enough games. Uh, and I don't follow college football as much as I used to. Of course, that's because my Tennessee volunteers suck. Uh, it's like the only non-Boston team I, I root for uh, because I I grew up, uh, my dad is a Marine, and uh, we lived in Millington, Tennessee for a few years, and uh, back when Heath Schuler was the quarterback at Tennessee, so I've been a Tennessee football fan ever since, so maybe they'll be good this year, probably not. In any event, uh, that's it, we'll catch you next time.